Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Mending Munich. Today we finish off Season 3 in the save, and as you can see from the league table below, we have automatically gone in to the European places, so we're already uh, guaranteed a, European, a Europa League place. We could potentially get a Champions League place, but we'd need a massive goal swing between us and Borussia Dortmund, which I don't think is going to happen. So Europa League football next season for Munich, which will be fan fantastic uh we have played a couple of games since we last met and uh we have lost to hoffenheim 1-0 a uh, very tough uh defeat actually to be fair because we battered them um uh, we just couldn't break down the defense they scored in the ninth minute and uh yeah a loss on my birthday in 2021 and it say we just uh we just couldn't break them down we then followed that up with a really good 2-1 away win at um at leipzig barco putting them one nil up and then uh, i basically Gave him a rocket in at uh, half time and Goody and Oliver Burke scoring the goal. So as you've seen already, we're in fifth at the minute. If we stay there, it gets us about 60 million quid, uh, which would be absolutely brilliant. If we go to the rules, fifth place is 60 million, sixth place is 57th, and seventh place is 54. And if you have a look at our finances, not the great, not the greatest going forward. So uh, it'll give us money in the coffers and uh, hopefully a decent transfer budget um, going forward. This is going to be the team that's going to play against uh, Mainz. Nothing really riding on this game, to be fair. So Muller in goal, Gaspar Velasquez, Belik, and Klassen are the back line. Murillo and Goujon are the uh, are the uh, midfield duo. Illich is suspended, so might not see him at all now that was probably his final game against uh against leipzig bruce on the right loader on the left samuelson in behind goody and then egbo belkaya uh wesley Mbai, gomez burke and marquez all on the bench let's get into it and uh, let's see what where how high we can finish up in the league here we go then final game of the season we're in our blue and white they're in their red and black and uh, they're safe, so they've got nothing to play for. We really don't have anything to play for either. So uh, it should be a nice, entertaining game. They're through on goal within the first minute. And Mateta has uh, scored literally within the first highlight, falling asleep at the back. And uh, it was a slick move going through the uh, going through the lines. Brewster nearly nipped in there, but couldn't get through. And a lovely through ball from Bacart. And uh, Mateta pushes it, pushes it past Muller. And it's 1-0 to Mainz. Whittle with a free kick. Goes for goal. And that's 2-0 to Mainz. Seven minutes gone. And Mainz are doing a job on us here. Maximilian Wittek with the free kick. Muller, absolutely no chance from this. He just stood there. And it flashed into the bottom uh, left-hand corner. 2-0 to Mainz. Mainz again coming forward. And Samuelson finally gets the tackling. But it falls to a Mainz player. Minamina goes for, sh goes for a shot. And it's... Flash wide, and uh, we just not turned up for the races. We're already on the beach, and uh, it's still 2-0 to Mainz. Brewster, free kick, goes for goal, and a uh, good save by F. Muller in goal for them. And uh, it's our first shot on target. It's taking us 25 minutes. We need some uh, something different from the boys out there at the minute. What an awful, awful half of football. Just haven't played well at all. I said, already on the beach. I'm going to get aggressive. Show me something else in that second half. And uh, we're going to start pulling some players off early if we don't turn it around soon. We need an early goal in this second half. And uh, we need it to happen sooner rather than later. Carson on that left-hand side. 20 minutes to go and buy. Now on for Marilla. Carson whips that ball in. Goujon into Loder. Can't get a ball through to Mahez up top, but they find Mateta down that right-hand side in that channel, and he's got people over on this left-hand side. Minamino, lovely little, amazing little run there, uh, but the shot was straight down Muller's throw, and uh, yeah, this game hasn't gone to plan. Mines have come here and done a job on us. Gaspar whipped that ball in. Brewster's there, and he heads just over. Whisker away from Brewster to get us back into this, uh, into this game. We've gone attacking for the final 25 minutes or so, and uh, trying to get a goal back, but it doesn't look likely. Gomez is going to whip this ball in. Can we find a blue shirt? No, it finds a main shirt. And all I've got to do now is to see the game out as a long, lofty ball up to Mbai. And uh, that is going to see it to uh, to an end. It's going to be Munich nil, Mainz 2. Story of our season, really. Playing really well against the top sides. Not playing particularly well against the bottom sides. And uh, they even predicted a win for us here. But we got pulled apart within the first 10 minutes of this game. And... Gave ourselves too much to do. I'm going to get aggressive. Far from pleased with that result. They're already on the beach and uh, not happy at all. We're going to go through all the end of season stuff now. Hopefully see what our budgets are as well for the next season. And uh, I'll see you when any news drops in. 
So the budgets are in. This is what we're going to have to go and hopefully build a team for a Europa League uh, challenge as well as the German Cup and the league next season. The board set the initial budgets at 20.5 million pounds. So that's more than we've ever had um, in this save and a 450,000 pound wage budget. So that is a decent chunk of change coming towards us with this uh, with this next season upon us. And here are the end of season awards. So Rian Brewster, player of the season, 48% of the vote for Rian Brewster. So well played to him. Uh, Wesley was goal of the season when he scored against Bayern. He was also the signing of the season as well. He's playing really well. Again, orange arrows, ignore them. But yeah, three star, still three star potential ability. So looking like he could be with us again next season. And then Rian Brewster, young player of the year. And that was our team of the season as well. Stat wise, Guri was top goal scorer. Brewster was at the average rating at 7.13. Also, most assists. Uh, Goujon with the most passes completed as well. So, all in all, our youngsters, I mean, Goujon is probably the star of the save at the minute. We brought him in way back when, when we're in the third division, for £57,000. And he's played loads of games for us. And uh, he's been an absolute stalwart in that middle of midfield. He'll be here next season. And uh, now he's worth over £3 million. So absolute uh, steal of a save uh, is uh, like Grujon. And he'll be here next year for us. But fantastic to see. Season review, we were finishing fifth in the Bundesliga. And we were pretty much there or thereabouts all the way through last season. Didn't really drop below 10th uh, at all last year, which was good to see, really. Well away from that relegation zone. And knocked out in the second round by... Hertha Berlin, 99% for, I think the uh, I think they are looking at actually building a new stadium for us, so any news from that and I'll bring you as well. And that is it, Season 3 is in the books and we are going into Season 4 with a European uh, challenge going with the uh, the normal league stuff as well, so a few more episodes in next season I reckon, I'll probably be we close to 12 or 15 episodes because I want to bring you all of the Europa League stuff as well as the league stuff as well. But uh, that is it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content. Remember, tick that little bell icon. And until next time when we bring you transfer stuff, Europa League stuff, uh, first game of the season, all that good stuff as well, I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.